Okay, a friend of mine asked me a different question recently. Um, how do I figure out what all the comments are in um, methods in Squeak? Well, it turns out there's um, ways of listing all the comments uh, in a window. Um, I kind of track things down by going, okay, well, let's see, a comment in Squeak is text surrounded by a um, double quote. I'll put that in the, trans the workspace so you can see it. Notice I've set this text larger. So I type in a double quote and search for it. What am I searching for? Method source with it. In other words, Anywhere in the source code that has a double quote, let's find it. And sure enough, looks like uh, it's going to find any um, stuff that begins with a double quote, and of course, would end with a double quote too. So we're on the right track. So how can we uh, make use of this information? Well, let's go back and look at the um, way we found that information. Hello. We actually searched for method source with it. Well, that's a menu. So it's got to have some kind of code associated with that text. Let's see if we can do something with it. So let's type in method source with it. And actually look for method, method source with it and see what we get. Okay. We get in the string holder class let method source containing it. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. So let's actually browse that um, method. Remember we can select a method and do a command B and um, we find that there's three methods that actually call this um, particular uh, method so um, these uh, methods in turn call something called browse methods with source string Huh. Okay. So let's see what implements that particular method. Browse methods with source string. And it's the system, na system navigation class. So, launch a browser on all methods whose source, string con source code contains a string as a substring. So let's just try that. Let's go with... Um, System navigation. Um, well, how do we actually uh, create a new system navigator thingy? Uh, do we open it or what? Oh, there's a default. Okay, so let's try this system navigation default. And. Um, Let's see what happens if we say, what was it? Browse methods with source string a string. Browse methods with source string a string. And let's make a string something like, oh, how about this? This will be cute. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to go after um, source code. So let's just go with, or we're going after comments. So let's just go with putting single quotes around a double quote. That strange thing will hopefully look for um, all our comments with this method. So let's do it. Unknown na navigation na navigation. Let's try it again. Searching. 
And sure enough, it brings up methods containing a single quote. And there it is, just what we were looking for. So, um, we can find that code programmatically, but it's opening it up in a window. We, we want it actually to give us a list. So um, let's browse um, the system navigator thing again and see if we can find something that will directly give us a, um, a way of listing it. So it's methods with source string. Um, so if all methods with source string, that looks promising. Let's see if we can find the implementers of that. Answer a sorted collection. That sounds good. So um, let's see. We're going with system navigation, all methods with source string, a string. So we can just go ahead and um, system navigation default. And let's just try this. A string. Again, we're going to look for the double quote. So we quote the double quote and case sensitive. Well, I don't think a, a quote is um, case sensitive, so true or false should work. I'll just say false and see if that works. First, let's test the type or the class that we get back. And uh, so this entire thing is returning an object. Let's see what kind of object it is. Sort searching. It's searching an ordered collection or creating an ordered collection. How big is that ordered collection? Size, print it. Mm, instance of ordered collection are not indexable. Okay, so we can't tell how big it is. Well, let's see if we can get the first one. Oh, class size. It's not class size, it's size we need. So let's try it again. <laughs> Ah, 24,000 of them. We probably don't want to handle all of them. I'm going to get that phone and continue.